start this test? Okay, Ross. I mean, Jamie. Sorry. Let's see if we can both get on this thing. Will Adam and Jamie's titanic tail be consigned to Davy Jones' locker? Jack's first attempts to get aboard the board right, right. seem very similar to the movie. Right, the board does appear to be only oh. made for one. But once they stabilize and get their balance, things are looking up. All right, all right. Baby steps. Baby steps. So when I first got on, it felt anything but stable. Just like the movie and the small scale test we did, it felt like it could tip at any moment. It's holding us up out of the water, mostly. And if we were in nearly freezing temperatures in danger of passing out, that would be a real issue. So I had an idea. You're wearing a life jacket. What say, Rose? Spread some of her buoyancy around. Let's put it underneath this thing and get every bit we can out of it. And it's the MacGyver-style tweak that really puts the nail in this myth's coffin. The additional buoyancy has made a massive difference. They're no longer floundering around, but sitting pretty. In fact, so pretty that Rose is ready to nap her way to the 63-minute rescue. 80% of my body is out of the water and in the air. Yeah, same here. If we can hold this sort of stationary, I think we're golden. Jamie, we're almost there. 15 seconds. Well, you know, however noble Jack's intentions might have been, sometimes discretion is the better part of valor. Hang on, Rose! With all we've learned, I think Jack's death was needless. <laughs> Don't call me Rose. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the key fact is, we're rescued. We totally made it. On top of the board, with most of our bodies out of the water in 63 minutes. All right, James, we have some good news and we have some bad news. All right, give me the good news. Okay. Well, the good news is the movie got it right as far as hypothermia. Jack would have drowned and Rose would have been able to hang on long enough to be rescued. The bad news is, based on our experiments, we have to find that they both could have survived on that board. Really? There were a couple of things, and the first was that we were able to retie the life preserver that Rose was wearing underneath the board, and that gave it more buoyancy. And we were able to prop up our bodies on the board so that most of our body mass was actually outside of the water. Based on that, we got to say, this is plausible. Rose and Jack could have survived. I think you guys are missing the point here. The script says Jack dies. He has to die. So maybe we screwed up, and the board should have been a little tiny bit smaller, but the dude's going down. <laughs> I can't argue with that. No. 